recent Halo Infinite leak show returning weapons on top of some fan favorites coming back as well as possibly dual wielding? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news information video when it comes to Halo Infinite. If you'd like to stay up to date with all the happenings with Halo Infinite coming out this fall, make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourself updated with all the content going on, on the channel here guys. So recently there have been some re resurging leaks coming for Halo Infinite and sadly enough they are toy leaks. Yes, yes, I know, I know, easy, 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 I know, toy leaks, whoop, who cares, I know, but these actually do confirm weapons returning some new weapons some armor sets that are returning to halo infinite as well in a very reach inspired kind of game if you want to stay up to date as soon as this information goes live make sure you follow me on twitter guys link in the description down below i did tweet out these images as soon as this came out now i do know that other channels have covered this previously i just wanted to make sure that they didn't get any copyright strikes because previously these same exact images just a few weeks ago were getting takedown notices so i didn't want to risk my channel it seems to be fine now so i want to talk about it with you guys right now so the first image i want to share with you guys here is an image that actually hasn't been reported on yet so this is some new content for you guys but this is a image of a brute warrior and the Master Chief holding their respective weapons. So you see a Brute Hammer, Gravity Hammer coming back, which is great. He's also looks like he's holding a Spiker Grenade, which we haven't had really any experience with a Spiker Grenade for quite some time. So looking forward to that coming back. You see Master Chief here holding two weapons, an AR and looks to be a brand new weapon for Halo Infinite. It's kind of like a, almost looks like a Mauler Forerunner kind of handheld shotgun kind of thing, which is interesting. Now, I did mention this at the top of the video, going off the deep end speculation, possibly dual wielding coming back, because that's a complete speculation right there uh, for right now. This could just be like a Mega Constructs cool thing that you can do with the guys, characters right here. But you can see it's a brand new weapon, which we'll go into more detail as the next image showcases. This is one of the previously blocked images that we can show now. This is a Spartan using a that similar weapon that we saw, kind of like a handheld looking Mauler kind of shotgun kind of looking thing. Definitely kind of a revolver kind of uh, mechanism to this weapon as well, which we did see with the uh, with the Mauler as well. It looks kind of more Forerunner though in style. We do see that there's the Gunnir armor coming back as well, very Reach inspired with that. Here's another image, and this is one's very exciting. We have a brute which is kind of dressed up in some crimson colors, and if you know crimson colored brutes, those are definitely going to be the banished. There's been a lot of hints to the banished coming into Halo Infinite, obviously not confirmed, but a lot of crimson red colors and obviously with comes with factions they are very important to designate colors between factions to like identify for the players and then we see very similar coloring styles in halo wars 2 to this brute right here and a very cool thing looking like he's holding some kind of a new weapon that's going to be coming in, in halo infinite it's very sleek modern kind of design with a kind of almost like a brute shot like blade underneath it kind of looks almost like maybe like a real gun shotgun I mean, this is a new brute shot. I mean, this is a lot of speculation with this, but you can see it's a new kind of weapon design that we have not seen previously in Halo. And like I said, at the top of this video, guys, we have some familiar weapons coming back. And this is the image I was talking about right here. We see an elite ultra holding what looks to be a plasma repeater from Halo Reach with a very Reach inspired type of Elite Ultra as well. And just to clear up any kind of confusion, yes, it is the Plasma Repeater. You can tell by the art design on top of the weapon, it's not the Plasma Rifle, it's a Plasma Repeater. Again, another Halo Reach reference that's gonna be coming for Halo Infinite with this game. So I think that we're gonna be seeing a quite a heavy influence of Halo Reach brought into Halo Infinite. So I will say that the helmet style of this Elite, obviously this is modeled after the uh, Mega Constructs version that you see with the art style that's on the box. Uh, it does count to me almost looks like a buck tooth shark face kind of thing on the front of it But uh, you know, it definitely I think is an improvement to the previous uh, Elite styles as well What we've seen from other images of elites in Halo Infinite that is for the toy the releases At least that they look much more classically influenced elites kind of the previous phenotype that we've seen in the original trilogy and also in Halo Reach Here's an image of another Spartan. This image does confirm that Recon will be coming back in Halo Infinite, which I think was pretty much a no-brainer since Recon is probably one of the most iconic 
armor sets they have in Halo, and I think it's very necessary to have this in here. Uh, you can see that he's holding that the assault rifle, which is very much influenced from Halo Reach's assault rifle in here as well. And you can see the body piece on the Spartan, which is looking pretty awesome. Very Reach inspired on top of that. A cool thing to take note of though is the coloring of the Spartan. As we do know that Halo Infinite is going to have Reach level customization in with the game, which was confirmed by Chris Lee a couple years ago about Halo Infinite. You can see the coloring here, that the lower half of the legs and arms are different colors. Possibly within the game, we could have different armor coloring throughout the Spartan set. That would be pretty freaking awesome. Extra customization is always very wanted. And coloring is a huge signifier of like making customizing your Spartan the way you want them to be. And I think that's gonna be a really cool feature to add in to Halo Infinite. The next image here we have of a Spartan Mark 7 right here. You can see him holding a different kind of weapon that we've never seen before in Halo Infinite. When I, when I first looked at this, I was thinking, okay, this could be a like SMG or some weird shotgun looking thing or something like that. Interestingly enough though, there was a previous leak of a Nerf blueprint of the same looking weapon as you can show, see right here of what looks like to be what the Spartan is holding right here. And you can see if you zoom in right in the middle, it says 12 gauge, which obviously would mean a shotgun. Now this being a round drum kind of weapon, you'd assume that it would probably be like a semi-automatic shotgun that would be in Halo Infinite, which is a shotgun we've never experienced before within the Halo franchise. So really cool to get a new kind of weapon brought into the game. And as you can see with the coloring of the Spartan as well, again, the right arm is a different color compared to the left arm and through the rest of the body as well and the helmet. So again, judging from that, you can probably make the assumption that we will have individual armor pieces that could be colored in Halo Infinite when it comes to armor customization. Again, very awesome. The last of the leaked images, we do see a Marine sniper right here looking pretty dang awesome which looks like the sniper rifle itself looks to be rather influenced from the Halo 5 version as we do know that Halo Infinite is going to be trying to kind of meld all the different types of weapons and armor styles and art styles just in general into Halo Infinite bringing back the Halo 5 sniper rifle which I don't mind I think it looked pretty cool and I know some people might not be the biggest fans of it. Personally, I'm a big fan of the Halo 2 Anniversary Sniper Rifle. That's my favorite looking one, but I think this one looks just fine as well. I think the coloring looks pretty cool on it. And we do know that there are gonna be possibly other styles of sniper rifles in this game as of the cover of the uh, Shadows of Reach, the book that'd be coming out before the release of Halo Infinite. We do see uh, Linda with a Nornfang looking kind of sniper rifle as well. So there should be different kind of customizations we could be doing with that. The big thing I do want to point out here is the Marine herself. You can see that she has a much more uh, militaristic kind of style to it, not so futuristic uh, like we did see with Halo 5's basically like hockey goalies that we had for Marine Spartans, especially in the Warzone. Those guys looked real goofy. This person looks like a total bad ass right here with proper armor, the proper camo coloring too as well. Looking very like professional kind of, I don't know, it looks way more authentic of a um, Marine than the previous Halo 5 art style. So I'm really glad to see that they've kind of gone with this more military realistic kind of look to these people as well. So it looks pretty freaking awesome. I'm very excited about this change on this characters. The one thing I do want to bring up while bring, talking about these reveals, yes, they are toys, but these are going to be things that are going to be in the game. At least hopefully, not confirmed, but you would assume so because it would be a much more sell, high selling product if it was actually in game brought to real life. Uh, the main trend I've been seeing that there's been a huge Halo Reach influence when it comes to these toy reveals. Uh, you can see in their image here of these different kind of action figures you can uh, purchase. And there's Spartan Cat, it says it right on the box as well, with two other unnamed uh, Spartans as well, but those two armor sets look very Reach influenced as well as we're having a theater of war of Shadows of Reach taking place before the events of Halo Infinite makes me think that there's going to be a strong pull to Halo Infinite as we've seen weapons, we've seen armors, we've seen characters being revealed recently with Halo Infinite's you know, name it's plastered right onto the box and these are Halo Reach characters, which you would be, it's interesting how you don't see anything much from Halo 5 or Halo 4 or Halo 3 or anything like that, but Halo Reach specifically. And the only reference we've seen of possible Halo Wars 2 stuff for the Banished is just that crimson color on generally what seems to be uh, the Brutes. We have seen something with the Hunter as well. 
Uh, and I would think if we're bringing back that color for enemy time, she would have to assume the Banished. But we haven't really seen much in the way of Banished vehicles or anything like that besides just the like red crimson color and brutes. So before the release of Halo Infinite, you might want to refresh yourself on some Halo Reach campaign as well as Halo Wars 2 campaign. So that about does it for all the leaks that are currently known for Halo Infinite. Again, I know these are toy reveals, guys. Not uh, super overwhelming, but this is concrete information that we will be seeing within Halo Infinite. Uh, we will have the July reveal coming out, guys, so I will be live streaming it on this channel and on Twitch. We'll get some live reactions, take part of the content creation, guys. So I'm super excited about this. Make sure you follow the channel if you want to stay up to date with all that good stuff happening as well. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel a lot guys leave a comment down below where your thoughts are on these halo infinite leaks and if you're new to the channel make sure to tap subscribe and if you miss any content for me check out the videos on the screen right now i have a playlist to all my recent information and news videos we've been out the loop for the last few days or so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next video peace out